I just want people to hear that it's okay to create things. It's, you know, I want people to, I want people hopefully to, you know, I don't want people to be like intimidated. I don't want this to be too cool for school kind of stuff. I want to connect with people and not. Well, the name of the, the name of the group is My Flag Is On Fire. It's just a recording, sort of a recording side project. It didn't become a live band until 2005. Uh, I started playing with my friends. I also played in other bands, and you know, this was sort of like my solo project. Uh, but then it turned into a real band, and we started recording more and touring, playing a lot more shows, uh, and now it, it is what it is. Uh, I've had over probably 20 people in the band, it's, it's constantly a rotating cast of musicians and people that I know. My touring band, I, I want to introduce them all so they're, they're not, so they're all credited, it's Mike Mayhall, uh, on the upright bass, uh, Kevin Lum on the, on the Rhodes. They play in a, another band from Reno called Kaiser Sose, which is like a uh, dub reggae band. And then uh, um, Karen Torres is a, a backup singer. Uh, I have Shelly Gooden on the accordion, Charles Taggart is our cellist player, and then Ricardo uh, is playing drums with us on this tour. Uh, he He's uh, regularly Joe Lally's backing drummer, and he plays in another band uh, called uh, Mini Arms. It sometimes could be two of us, or three of us, or eight of us, depending on who's in town. It's, 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 it's sort of a vehicle of expression, less of, it's not like a band, like it could, could change. The song, generally, yeah, I want to get that across. The way that we've sort of, we've sort of worked into, like, it, is that I write, I write the songs, and they're pretty. You know, I write it on piano or guitar, and then the rest of the band sort of, it's sort of a canvas, and the rest of the band, band can, it's very loose, like they can paint over it, like it's their own. So we use we try to improvise when we can, and we try to we don't necessarily always play this the same song correctly. This you know uh, we try to do different versions of the song every time we play. Sometimes we'll extend a part here, you know, 
you know, try to mess with it a little bit to keep it interesting. The song is written, you know, like I, it's not, it's not like, you know, crazy improvised jazz or anything, it's, the songs are there, the songs are, uh, there is a formula to, there's, you know, it's a chart, but yeah, we try to paint over it differently every time, different instruments, and like I said, like I've, you know, it's, it's always different. You know, tonight's completely different from what you saw last night, and we like that. I mean, I like that. That's when it changes like that. Like, it's, it's fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. And when I was in my early 20s, in my late teens and stuff, I was in bands that were like three, four of us, and we just rehearsed the hell out of all of our songs and and just get them down and da 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 for you know. But after like a year or two, we we'd have to stop. And it would just get boring to us, you know. We'd we'd, we'd, we'd be dry. You know, the well would be dry. So this is something where I can keep, continue to keep writing and playing with different people all the time. I can continue to, you know, to, I won't ever. As long if, as soon as I want to stop doing it, then you know it, it'll stop. But right you now, want to, you want to stop doing that? no.